I don't know exactly what we're going to make. We're going to make some kind of jellyfish. Okay, don't care. Play. I don't think I've got any mods on. Yeah, let's go unmodded for the moment. I love I love a bit of mod, but uh, I haven't played much Still Honest before. I've played apparently eight hours. I think a good six hours of that it was on pause. Um. I found it, much like every Paradox game, kind of overwhelming. Um, but I feel like I should take the time to understand it because I feel like it's, well, it's just cool. And it is a complete imagination factory. Both for the player and of the developer to have thought through these future scenarios, these alien worlds. It's a wonderful sonderous exercise. Um, Sonder is a term that anyone who watches much of this will have heard me use all the time and almost never define. And even when I define it, I use it in a way that is not consistent with those definitions. Um, so <laughs> let's define it again and uh, see if it ends up consistent with those definitions. Um, when I say sonder, I mean to understand someone's actions as actions that one might yourself make. Um, let me try and make that more clearly, more clear. It's really easy when looking at others, be they others around us, be they other kinds of being, be they other scales of system, uh, be they the dog that we're dog sitting right now, or the person whose dog we're dog sitting, or the entire dog sitting organization. It's really easy to think that these things work by some set of rules that is different from ourselves. Uh, it's one of the easiest ways to make sense of them. But it's not very... I think before I played as this, these guys for a bit, um, I, I'm not going to say what they look like. They don't look that much like that. Uh, I think I'm going to change everything about them, but let's just start with one of these. So, I want to be jellyfish. So, I probably don't want to be a fungoid. I probably want to be a, a molluscoid. And one of the conjectures of this, this is, um, my partner kind of made up this circumstance here, is that the creature has to be, if not transparent, then has to wear... Oh no, it was these guys before. Oh, it's this slug person. Their inner workings have to be their outer workings their um there has to be a level of transparency to their own action hi lewis how you doing i quite like these guys these guys are beautiful i also do like these guys um so the the basic idea was that they should be jellyfish absolutely in love with all things industrial because of their own, um, their own, their own kind of transparency of their own function. Uh, I'm doing well. I am... These are the most immediately jellyfish guy. And I do quite like them. I like that this seems to just be one big eye. These guys with their kind of big gears of war abs breastplate. I do I like their I like their head. Just a bit much. So I think it's these guys. This is just too ugly. I don't wanna be this. Um These guys, maybe these guys. Or 
These guys aren't really transparent enough. That's awful. I think I'm gonna go with these guys. They're just, they're pretty. Yeah, they can be Naborites. Um. So, what's their description gonna be? I don't, I'm not gonna give them a long, uh, long one. Kid three, that's quite nice. Um, captivated by the uh, semi transparent workings of their own bodies and minds. If we were well, perhaps unique as a species in inventing high level machinery. Um what kind of high-level machinery do I want? Uh, high-level machinery and infrastructure before agriculture. Whoa, whoa. Did I mean to press? Okay, it has to be all one paragraph. Um, from their vast interconnected uh, obsession with the clock. The aesthetic beauty of clockwork like mechanisms. Who says the authors write themselves into uh, into their fiction? It has propelled them to being. Grand scale industrial industrialists um, driven not by profit or Ooh, and got lost. Uh, 